An open letter to Governor Abercrombie. Hello, my name is Kelly Kelly, and I am a public school teacher here in Hawaii. I am writing this letter to you to explain that your policies affect real people. Here is my story. I love my job. I always wanted to be a teacher since I was a small child, helping others to gain confidence and to give them the skills to succeed in their future no matter their circumstances is critical. However, you make my job very difficult. I beg of you to imagine 27 real faces that walk into my classroom each morning, hopeful, full of promise, looking to me to unravel the mysteries of the world. Through your oppression of teachers, you are telling these real children, sorry, you're not a priority. Your policies not only affect Hawaii's children, they affect me. I started teaching five years ago in the state of Hawaii. In this time, I have not seen one pay raise of any amount. As a matter of fact, we have had huge pay cuts, namely furloughs, and under your administration, an unfair imposed 5% pay cut, loss of planning time, and 50-50 medical. What does this mean for me and my family? It means that we are not just barely making it, we aren't making it. Only half of my paycheck makes it to my pocket. I pay over $500 a month in medical premiums. This may not mean much to you, but to me, that's groceries that I am not able to buy for my family. It's not fair, Mr. Abercrombie. I went to college for six years to obtain a professional master's in teaching degree. I do what's right. I do what I can for my community. I spend my own time doing professional development, planning, spending weekends, working, instead of spending time with my family. And all this with little to no acknowledgement or fair compensation. Isn't it embarrassing, Mr. Abercrombie, that my family receives reduced school lunch and WIC services? Rent has increased. Cost of food has increased. Gas has increased. Why are you not working with us? Why are you allowing your bravado to stop progression of a contract? I don't want to hear that we are asking too much because it doesn't take much to give respect. And I don't want to hear that HSTA is the one not working with you because you are our chosen leader. It is your job to maintain fair negotiations. This is what I want to see happen. I want you to give us a fair contract. I want you to value public education like I do the way you say you do. I want you to do what you promised when you were elected. Action against you is gaining momentum by the part of the teachers. Mr. Abercrombie, I am prepared to strike with my utmost sincerity, Mrs. Kelly.